Hey guys, this is James from King's Ride Shop, and today we're going to show you how to add slack into a free coaster. Now, most of these free coasters are the same, same design. Uh, there's a few variances in free coaster design, but all the uh, most ones you're going to get are the same as this one. This is the Revenge OEM one. Um, they're basically the same function, just the bearings on some companies are different. They're trying to make them more durable. Uh, this one's sealed bearing, it's real basic. We're gonna add some slack to it. Uh, so let's get going. The first thing you wanna do is you're gonna have to remove the driver. Um, it's pretty simple. This wheel has the six mil already cut into the axle. You stick the six mil Allen into the axle to hold it still. You take a crescent wrench or whatever size, I don't even know what this is, probably a 24 or something and you break it loose. So you're going to want to break this loose and we'll see if I can handle this. So once you break it loose and your knuckles survive, you unthread it, which might take a minute. I'll try to speed through this as fast as I can. Don't forget you set it off to the side. There's a washer on the inside. You set that to the side. The driver, to take it out, you just twist and pull on it. Like you're unscrewing it. And it slides out. That simple. Now, since we're going to change the slack, we have to take this nut off. You're going to want to remove this non-drive nut as well so that we can mess with the slack inside. Set it off to the other side so you keep track. It's not a big deal if you get them mixed up, but I like to put stuff back together properly the way it came apart. From here, you got to knock the axle out the other side. This obviously slides off. You can just set it to the side. To knock the axle out the other side, if you don't have if you don't have a dead blow hammer and you just have a regular hammer, don't hit the axle with a regular hammer because it will mess the threads up and it'll be hard to put the nuts back on the axle. So what you'll want to do is you take the axle nut and you put it on upside down so that the flange side sticks up and you just can thread it down so it's close to the top of the axle but the axle is not actually exposed and then you can tap it and it'll just it won't damage the threads or anything so you're just going to want to knock the axle out like so you can set the wheel to the side and then you can see how everything came apart here all right so this is how a free coaster works when you're pedaling the cylinder comes in towards the driver and it engages the hub shell so you pedal, this is pushing into the hub shell tight enough to where it turns the hub and that's how you're going forward. When you go backwards, the driver slightly moves backwards and you can see the cylinder moves back away from the driver which also means it moves away from the hub shell which allows the hub shell to roll freely just on the bearings. This one's obviously not here, it's still in the hub but there's another bearing right here that's the hub shell so it, it rolls free. Now slack, since we're adjusting slack, is determined by how far this clutch cylinder moves back away from the hub shell, which is this distance right here. You can see a thrust washer, and in here you can see a bunch of other little washers. These are your slack adjustment washers. Right now, he has the minimum slack. He's got all three spacers in there. By removing these spacers, you increase the slack because you allow the cylinder to travel further backwards away from the hub shell. So he wants more slack. We're going to take out all three of them. Make sure that he hits his knee hard. And we're going to put the bearing back in. Now when the cylinder moves back it can travel further backwards increasing the amount of slack that's in the hub. So now when he goes to pedal there's going to be a lot more movement before it engages, but at the same time, when he lands hard and goes backwards, it's going to coast backwards way easier. Um, so that's basically that. Before you put it back together, you can actually put the non-drive 
fucking hair. <laughs> this fucking kid's got long ass hair. <laughs> um, before you put it back together, you can actually put the non-drive stuff back on. So there's the spacer. Here's the nut. So the nut's going on. You can tighten it down. You can obviously grab the six mil. Grab the crescent wrench, tighten it back together. You got to take the driver back off, obviously, to put it in. Don't forget, free coasters need a ton of grease. So we're going to take the cylinder off, put a bunch more grease in here. And we don't go stingy on the grease. You can't really put too much, so load it up. We're going to slide it back on. We're going to put more grease on the threads of the driver. The shit's got to move smooth. So there's that. It's a messy job. That's why I always wear gloves. Put the axle back in the hub. You got everything put together. The cylinder's on there. You slide it back in the non-drive side. You take your dead blow hammer, if not, and you have a regular hammer, make sure you put that axle nut on here so that you don't mess up the threads. This is called a dead blow hammer. It's plastic. It's full of sand. It won't mess the threads up. And you just want to tap this back in. You're going to have to hit it pretty decent. So it's back in. You take the driver, you slide it back in, and it's going to have to thread into that cylinder. So you're going to have to turn it just like you're screwing it in to get it to go in. There it is. So once the dri you got the driver back in, you got that washer. It's cone shaped. One side tapers up. The tapered side faces in. The flat side faces out. People always put this on backwards. Don't do it because it'll drag on your, the edge of the driver bearing and your driver will spin like shit. There's the lock nut. You can get it started. Always start threading stuff with your fingers so you don't cross thread it. All right, so once it's threaded down, put the six mil back on the other side of the axle. Put the crescent wrench back on. Make it snug. And there you go. Back together, ready to go back on the bike. There's a little excess grease, you can wipe it off. Spin smooth, spin smooth. We know we put it back together right, and now he has more slack. Perfect. That's it guys, thanks.